this might be the only video you practically need to watch about Benson in Dahosa University. I'll tell you everything you need to know about Benson in Dahosa University in Edo State. Benson in Dahosa University is a private Christian university in Benin City, Edo State. It has two campuses. It has the Legacy Campus and it has the Heritage Campus. The Legacy Campus is in Oha Community, Edo State, while the Heritage Campus is in uh, Ugbo. Uh, in GRA in Benin City, Edo State. This university has over 5,000 students and it has lasted over 20 years and counting. The founder of this university is the great Archbishop himself. He's late now. May he so rest in peace. We're talking about no other than Archbishop Benson Andrew Idahosa. So if you're planning to come to BIU, you're planning to study in BIU, this is what you need to know about BIU. This is the only private university in Nigeria that has a membership with the United States National Academy of Inventors. So that's a good one for BIU. So if you're coming to BIU, well, your school shall have some vibe when it comes to like international rep. We'll get to the bad stuff, don't worry. Let's talk about the good first and let's talk about, you know, a bit of the ugly before we go into the bad. Well, not too many bad, but we'll still talk about everything, you know. So BRU has a very vibrant campus life. So if you're somebody that likes to make friends, you like to play sports, you like to join clubs, this is one school that they pay a lot of attention to students' development, right? So I like this school for that. You know, I've been to BRU several times. I've taken students to BRU. I practically started a PGD program in BRU. I had to stop the PGD program because, um, you know, of some circumstances beyond my control. So I was practically traveling every other week from worry to Benin City just to attend my uh, classes in my PGD program. So I had the chance for over six months to interact with loads of students there to talk to them. I mean, that was not the first time I was going to BIU anyways, but this is one school that has a vibrant campus life, right? If you are somebody that you are that person that likes to like mix up, meet people, join club, join, join, you know, um, things that make you vibe. BIU is really the school for you because the rules are not as stringent as other schools. So like with BIU, you don't have too much stress. Although, BIU is one school. Tasha, you have to dole out the cash anytime you make a mistake. So if you make a mistake, you must actually bring out some money. So mistake starts with M, money starts with M. So BIU and money, that's synonymous. Uh -huh. has fully accredited programs in law, engineering, medicine, nursing, and over 30 other programs that the university actually offers. And all of them are NUC approved. So when it comes to uh, studying at BIU, you're really welcome to study here. And you're also welcome because, you know, this is not a school where you're going to be thinking like, are the courses approved? No, almost, not almost, all the courses in BIU are all approved by the National Universities Commission. I'll tell you a little story when I'm rounding up the video about how BIU took, it, it took over like eight years for them to finally get approval from NUC. I'll give you that gist as we're rounding up this video, right? But BIU is that school where you want to come to and you have that hard that, you know what, the program I'm doing in BIU is accredited. Let me tell you one thing that actually makes people succeed in BIU, right? Know your head of department. First of all, if you're coming to BIU, understand it that um, it, it has a good student lecturer relationship kind of ratio. So you want to know your dean, you want to know your head of department, you want to know your, your course advisor, because that's one of the trick of the game. You know, when you come to BIU, other schools don't do this as much as BIU. But BIU, if you know your course advisor, if you know who he is or who she is and you're able to take advantage of going to meet them and saying what because that's what the word is course advisor but BIU really opens the door the course advisors in the schools in this school open the doors for you to come in and say i'm having trouble with this i'm struggling with this what do i need to do here what do i need to do there but if you are forming boss the child does go and fail uh -huh. nobody will come and tell you that you failed right so most of the people that have finished with a first i have over five people that have finished with a first class Serena Olise Menogo, one of my students, finished with a first class from BIU. When I asked her, Serena, what was your trick? She was like, Mr. Zion, first thing I took school, like walk. 
Secondly, I had to do a lot with my course advisors. So if you are listening to me right now and you're going to be, uh, you just said that Mr. Zion told you, Shah, but be close to your course advisor and then ask them about, you know, where do I need to improve? What am I not doing right? Where do I get past questions? Your course advisors are the hidden secret of success in BI. Let's talk about some things you're supposed to bring when you're coming to school. I'll break them into segments and I'll talk about them as I go along in the video. But before I even go to that part where we talk about what you're going to bring, I, I like to celebrate BIU. You know, Reverend Wale Fesor finished from BIU. Uti Wachuku, one of my very, very good faves. That one big brother finished from BIU. Um, and lots of other people that you already know finished from BIU. Uki Udari, one of my, um, you know, great, great, great friend in Benin City, Edo State. She also finished from BIU. So BIU has loads of graduates that are doing extremely well in society. So coming to BIU is a great, great place to study because their alumni are also very, doing very, very well. So let's talk about some things you're supposed to bring. Now, you don't want to come to this school without provision bring provisions when you are coming to BIU. Remember, you can't buy, you can't cook. You can buy the things in school, but as a fresher, um, you might find some of the things that they, they sell here expensive. So it's important that number one, you bring provisions, bring your conflicts, bring your milk, bring your milo, bring your bonvita, bring your, whatever it is that you can snack on, you know, bring it when you are coming to school, you know, and it's also important to bring your plate and your spoon, right? You can't cook here, I've said it again, but at least you can bring provisions. It's very, very important when you're coming to BIU to come with provisions. The classes here holds from Monday to Friday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, no classes. Sunday, there's obviously you have to go to church. But Monday to Friday, you have classes. Some some days are not as, you know, um, class heavy as some other days, you know. But most of the time, it's always Monday to Friday. And listen, lectures here are very important. You cannot miss lectures. It's very important to go to lecture here. It's very important to go to cell meeting when you are in BIU. It's very important to go to chapel when you are in BIU. It's very important to go to Sunday service church when you are here in BRU. So one bad thing I don't like about BRU, this is something they don't say in public, but I'll tell you. There's seniority in BRU. Low key. Low key. There's seniority. Sometimes in some of the hostels in BRU, you will notice that they are telling 100 level students to go and stay in the up bunk. Why? Because, you know, you come in and then 200 level students and 300 level students are in that, that your hostel. And then you that are 100 level, they'll just push you up, you know. There's low-key, there's seniority in BIU. I don't like it because a university is a university. Everything that concerns breaking the law here, unlike some other schools that I know that will expel you, it takes a while for BIU to expel you. You must have done something very grave. BIU doesn't expel like that. That's why I like them. But you see money, you will pay money and pay money and pay money and pay money and pay money. Your ear and your eye, eh? you will hear something. So if you know that you are the rule breaker of your town, as you are coming to BI, I clap for you. Because if you miss bed check 25,000, if you press your phone and they see it in chapel, another money you pay. Anything you do that that, that is an offense in BIU, there's a fine for it. So like BIU and fine. Their brothers and sisters. So if you are coming to BIU, please, please, please try to avoid paying a lot of fines. You don't pay your school fees on time. There's a fine for it. Everything you do here that is that is late or wrong, there's a fine for it. Now, let's talk about the hostels. You know, the hostels, you have 100,000 Naira and uh, hostels, and then you have 200,000 Naira hostels and above, right? For the 100K ho hostels, you have like 80 pool in a room. And then for the 200K hostels and, uh, you know, and, and above, you have about four to six people in a room. Now, the school fees for BIU is about, is between 1 million and 2.5 million and above. It actually depends on your cost, right? But understand that it's a private school, so it's really not cheap. Going to church is important in BIU. Going to cell meeting is important. Now, the cell meeting holds in different places, right? Uh, so you need to check your portal to know where your cell meeting will be holding. But then, chapel is Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it is so important to go to chapel in the Benson Idarusa University. 
can I stay off campus in BIU? A lot of people have asked me this question and I'm responding, I'm doing this video now because lots of you have commented on my channel to say, Mr. Zion, we need a BIU video. So here is me giving you your BIU video, right? Can I stay off campus? Uh, yes, you can stay off campus if you have the permit, uh, if you have the right exit. I think most of the people that stay off campus are like married people. A, a large chunk of undergraduate uh, stay on campus. It's a fully residential uh, university. When I was going to BIU to do my PG, I wasn't staying on campus. I was driving from Wari to, to Benin um, and then I was staying in a hotel because, you know, it's an adult program, right? So if you're married, you can stay off campus. If you're not married and you're an undergrad, you have to stay on campus. Some things to bring when you're coming to BIU, if you're a lady, boo-boo gown is so important, right? Bring your boo-boo gown, bring your tote bag. Um, generally, you should also bring your deodorant, bring a torchlight when you're coming, bring mosquito net when you're coming. It's very important. And then one bad thing about BIU is that most of the time there's no water. Because sometimes they put on the light from like maybe 6 o'clock in the evening or 7 o'clock in the evening till maybe 7 o'clock in the morning. So it's not all the time you get water. So bring a big drum for to store water so that um, just in case you have an early morning class and then there's no water, you can use from your drum and then have your bath and then go to school. Bring your pillows, your pillowcase, your bed sheet. Uh, all these are also very important. Most of the things I, I'm, I'm talking about right now, they sell them in the school, but like you know, most of the things in BRU in their supermarket, very expensive. So the bulk you can bring from your house, bring from your house. The nightlife in BRU is amazing, right? I mean, with people like Ovo, like Auntie Mercy, like Open Welcome, um, you know, like Hebron, right? Um, you know, these are all people that sell food and sell all these men, the men they share. There are lots of other people, but in the night, you can get things like chicken and chips. You can get things like noodles. You know, you can stroll around, um, you know, with your friends. The night, I like the nightlife in BIU up until like maybe 10 or 11 when it's time for like coffee, right? So, but BIU has a great, great nightlife, right? And by nightlife, please, I'm talking about go outside and buy something and go inside. I'm not saying... Uh, you should go and see your boyfriend or girlfriend or do any bad thing or uh, nightlife i'm talking about is like it's a beautiful arena beautiful buzzing area in the night and then there are lots of people selling stuff that you can actually go outside and have some good time eating and then have some good time enjoying nature before you go back to your room um, and chill so did you know that biu was formerly named christian faith university that was the original name that the school had. It was up until the Archbishop died uh, that they renamed BIU and then started calling it the Benson Idahosa University. So bring iron, bring umbrella. Then you see that small fan that you can put on top of your bed that will be blowing you breeze like this. Bring it, that rechargeable fan. Because sometimes the kind of mosquito that is battling inside those hostels. <laughs> I've been in the hostels, in the male hostel, and I know what I'm talking about. So bring fan because sometimes heat will be using your body to play a jazz school like this. So bring fan. Bring that. Don't go and bring one long fan. That one you can you might not even use it. So bring fan that can size like the, a small corner on your bed. Small rechargeable fan. Bring it. It will help your destiny, not just your life. In BIU. Anything that concerns stainless steel, please don't bring it. They don't need to allow it in BIU, right? Then another thing I need to talk about is the fact that one thing I like about BIU is the fact that you get treated for free. You know, they have Mediplex, um, the healthcare center where if you're sick, go there, treat yourself, and all of the treatment you're going to do is free of charge. That's not the right to go and be getting sick every time. Oh. So BIU has some great sporting legend that has won medals for them at the Commonwealth uh, Games, you know, so BIU is very, very good with sports. So if you are a sport person and you are coming to BIU, well, thumbs up to you because you are going to really enjoy the school. Then another fact that people don't know that I'm telling you now is the fact that for two years, Bishop David Oyedekpo was paying professors every month their salary in BIU. He did it quietly for two years. Oh yes! Bring Crocs when you're coming to BRU. Bring power bank. Bring good headphone. I mean, if you are a music lover, now bring a good laptop or, a, or an amazing phone or both. Because see, you can't come to university like BRU and don't have gadgets. It won't work. So uh, those are some things you should also bring when you are coming to Benson Idahosa University. Now, one other thing you should bring when you are coming here is money. Kudi ego. 
and load your account with money 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 yes bring money when you're coming to BRU some another thing you should bring when you're coming to BRU is your common sense because there was a time in BRU let me give you this gist where one girl because of love I am in love oh I'm in love I love him I love him <laughs> he girl went to give one boy that she called her boyfriend a school fees so when they got to know about it, wahala happened. I thought you say you love me. Come bring as you are coming to this BIU, bring your common sense. And then bring the fear of God. Uh-huh. Common sense and the fear of God. Put it among the things that you are going to bring to BIU. Let's talk about the dress code for the different departments. Law, black and white. Accounting is light blue and navy blue. Bees admin pink and black acorns white and black with purple tie mascom everybody knows mascom in the old scusha red and white medicine is blue but you can actually look at your portal or look at the website to know what color your your, your department will be using what's your color code so that you be you get things uh, in line with that in terms of your dress and then dressing in biu is modest right your your skirt as a girl should be three inches below your knee and as a guy you should dress decently so what are some things you are going to need for your faculty registration and general clearance number one you're going to need your ssc printout if you have your certificate already, bring it. You're also going to need your JAM original results. You're also going to need your JAM admission letter. You're going to need your BIU admission letter. You're also going to need your BIU receipt for your form. Now, when you're coming to BIU, they will not charge you for filling their form. It's free at that point. When you've, when you've accepted the admission, they will charge you about 10,000 plus uh, for the form. So that receipt is also very important when you are doing clearance. Your local government certificate of origin is also important. Your birth certificate is also important when you are coming to do your clearance, whether it's faculty clearance or general clearance. Your school fees receipt, your acceptance fee receipt, all those things are very important when you come to BIU. Now you can pay your school fees on the portal. I pay school fees for people, pay it on the portal or you can go to the bank and also pay your school fees. You need to bring passports. If I were you, I'll bring like 30 or 35 passport photograph white background because you are going to put passport almost every place you go to so passport is important when you are coming to the Benson Idahosa University and then bring some muzzle because your first week of university life in BIU you will shall trek and trek and trek you will trek I know what I'm telling you to write exams in BIU you must at least get 75% attendance just like it's in every other university in this country, um, 75% attendance is required. Now, interpersonal relationship, can I date in BIU? Can I have a boyfriend? Can I have a girlfriend? Yes, you can, but keep it within the laws and order of a Christian relationship. Uh-huh. If you go and do pass yourself, you see that no, uh, but yes, you can have a boyfriend. Yes, you can have a girlfriend. When I say boyfriend and girlfriend, not romantic or friend, I say boy friend that is a girl uh-huh. and another thing also yes you can use your phones in the benson in the Hosa university it's very allowed it's permitted i see a lot of people in biu doing um tiktok and doing all these things you know. curfew in biu is 10 p.m so 10 p.m it must be on your bed and they used to do bed check they used to do bed check they will come and tick your name and say where are you where are you where are you uh-huh. so stay on the bed be there when they come to check for you those sneak out. So ID card in BIU is very important. Don't misplace your ID card. I know what I'm telling you from experience. Always have your ID card handy. Always have your ID card on your neck. It's very important. And also if you are in legacy campus, well, accept my sympathy because you cannot go anywhere. Heritage campus, if people can still move small like this. But you see that, okay? <laughs> well, well, I don't know, but uh, I rather, there are some, there are some, there are some courses that you are doing. You must go to legacy but if you are doing some other courses maybe under level you have to stay in heritage uh, heritage is a bit easier to go out i'm not saying you should go out but legacy lock and key
So in 1981, the idea to open BIU was in the heart of the Archbishop. Um, in 1992, they had approached the Nigeria University Commission to say, we need a license. You know, we've opened the school. It's called Christian Faith University. We need a license. That didn't come. In 1998, when the Archbishop passed on to glory, the school was renamed Benson Idahosa University and then Feb Idahosa took over as the university's second uh, president, right? And then in 2002, 10 years after they applied for license, is when they finally granted the Benson Idahosa University a license to operate as a private institution. So when BIU was granted a license in 2002, the university actually kicked off, you know, all the fully accredited programs at that time with just 400 students. But now, it has over 5,000 students. So, small things, nothing great starts big. Everything that is great starts small. You coming to BIU, you also need to learn from the story to say that, you know what, now though today my, my starting might be small, um, you have the potential to be great. If you got to this part of the video, all I need you to do for me is to type in the comment section if you are going to come to BIU, if you are planning to come to BIU, if you are already in BIU, just type it here and say BIU, you put a comma and put the hashtag my future starts here. That helps me know you got to this part of the video, that also helps me know that you are trying and you are making sure you claim the energy that your future starts here right so put it in the comment section now and say BIU then put a comma and put the hashtag my future starts here as you come to BIU aim for godliness and academic excellence not perfection aim for godliness and academic excellence don't try to be perfect remember that every single day you get better listen michael j fox once said that perfection is god's business that's not his business so you're coming to a university where you can aim for godliness you can aim for academic excellence but please don't strive to be extra perfect strive to take each day as it comes and do your best every single day Congratulations as you've decided to come to BIU. I wish you the very best. If you found this video helpful, like the video, share the video, and then, you know, put a comment to let me know which other questions you have about BIU. Let's continue this conversation in the comment section and anything I couldn't touch in the video, basically I'll be able to answer you in the comment section. And then if you watch this video and you are a BIU student and there are some current updates in your school that I didn't talk about, Put a comment there in the comment section and then enlighten us the more. We're growing the channel, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just click the subscribe button. And also, in the description box, I put, um, you know, the link to the WhatsApp group. We have a student corner WhatsApp group now. Click the link and join the WhatsApp group and let's keep inspiring one another. My name is Mr. Zion. I'll see you again on another video. Bye-bye.